Hello, my name is Scott Graves, and I am a junior engineering student at SAU Magnolia. People have often asked me in the past, Scott, how do you keep up with having such a voluptuous beard? In this presentation, I will tell you exactly how to properly care for and keep up with a beard. So, some common misconceptions. Shaving your beard does not make it grow back thicker. Most people believe that if they shave their beard, especially when they're young and it's first growing in, in their teenage years, that it will grow back longer or thicker. This, unfortunately, is not the case, and many people are unaware of this fact. They have bought in completely to the lie that shaving their beard is the only way to make it grow in fully. Secondly, a beard can keep you from getting a job. This is simply not correct. Now, if this were 20 years ago, then yes, a beard may keep you from getting a job. However, in our modern day and age, a beard is no such issue. I have just recently gotten a job, and as you can see, I have a very full beard. Now, most people also believe that you will have your full beard in by the age of 20. Now, this is not always the case. Your beard will grow in fully at its own pace. Now, while a lot of full beards do come in by 20, you do not have to give up hope if you're past 20 and your beard still hasn't fully grown in. And now the last common misconception is a little bit more complicated, in that beards make your face hot during the summer. Now, this is not exactly true. Yes, your beard can actually cool your face down. It provides shade to your face during the heat of the days, especially during the high sun hours. Now, however, your beard can cause your face to be susceptible to heat rash. This can be fixed by taking a number of steps from uh, combing out and washing your beard to simply moisturizing your face better. To start off, hygiene is the most important aspect of maintaining and caring for your beard. You need to wash your beard as often as you wash your hair. Right? A dirty beard is a unhealthy beard and it will cause your face to break out in rashes which are generally uncomfortable. Now, one of the other important things to do is to comb or brush your beard. My recommendation would be to comb or brush it daily, usually after you wake up in the morning and after you get out of the bath or shower. This can cause your beard to look not only look fuller, but it can make it cleaner by d clearing out any mist debris. Now, for an optional care, first off is beard oil. Beard oil is an interesting substance in that it re-moisturizes and exfoliates your hairs in your face. This can cause your beard to not only grow in fuller, but have a fuller looking appearance, and it can cause your beard health to go up drastically. I myself am an avid user of beard oil, using a several, several different brands of beard oil. My most common one is actually this here, um, Devil's Delight, which is a very... Uh, while it is strong beard oil, it is not strong scented, which can be a lot of people's uh, worry about putting oil in their beard. And now lastly is moisturizer. Moisturizer is good for your beard and your face in general. As I said earlier, your beard can cause your face to break out in heat rash if not properly cared for. This can be counteract or counteracted by moisturizing your beard and your face with different things such as lotions. One of the key parts of having a great beard is confidence. A great beard requires both product and confidence.
A great man once said that. If you're going to have a beard, then you should be proud of it. Proud of everything you're growing out of your face. I would like to thank you all for listening to my speech.